Well, we had a customer at the credit union who called our department, I think it was about 10 a.m. on Saturday, saying that he had tried to check his balances in the website, had the ISIS flag on it, and indicated that uh, ISIS had hacked the website. And uh, you guys, what, did you, what was the response to that, please? Well, we, uh, I then received a call from uh, one of the local media agencies asking uh, about whether or not this site had been hacked. Apparently, they'd received some calls from persons who'd also seen the ISIS flag on the website. Uh, they had then uh, preserved some screenshots from the website. By this time, the website was taken down uh, for security reasons. Uh, and then we contacted the uh, folks at the credit union and spoke to them. Uh, they'd indicated to us that uh, they, they had taken down the website for security reasons and that none of the account information at the credit union had been compromised. That's okay, that's good. And um, so what is the current status of what have, what have the police done? What have you done to follow up on this? Well, um, members of our investigative division have contacted the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Uh, they are also uh, investigating a number of incidents around the country uh, that appear to be similar to this, where the front page of websites has been hacked, uh, displaying the ISIS flag, uh, but it doesn't seem to be affecting the businesses. So uh, from what we're seeing so far, the businesses aren't damaged, uh, accounts aren't compromised uh, for most of these anyway, and uh, it appears to be more of a nuisance than anything else. I mean, do you guys think this is an ISIS thing, or is it a prank? I know the bank. Well, I'd, I'd be surprised if the actual group ISIS was involved in this kind of a hack, uh, simply because it doesn't appear that there's a lot of damage being done. Uh, it seems to be more of a nuisance. So it certainly could be uh, someone who wants to get a lot of publicity. And, and if you fly the ISIS flag, that's uh, certainly going to be well covered in the media, as you well know. So it's a way to get a lot of media attention very quickly. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see what the investigation holds as far as uh, what the FBI can find out. And locally, that's what you're at? You've called the FBI? Yeah, we don't have the resources to conduct investigation of this nature, or the personnel, or quite frankly, the equipment. Uh, but the FBI does, the uh, Department of Homeland Security probably does. Uh, we'll rely on those folks who do have the equipment and the expertise uh, to conduct the investigation. And obviously, we'll help them if it comes to something that, uh, that we can help with. But right now, they're much better suited to conduct an investigation like this. Have you guys ever had something like this happen before, uh, locally? Not Just to my knowledge, no. Certainly, uh, Nothing with, uh, you know, somebody claiming to be a terrorist organization. Not, not that I, not to my knowledge. And, and you don't know of, uh, have they been, have the banks ever been threatened? The, the credit, the credit union. Do they have? Do you guys have any suspects, or have they had any threats? Or no, we don't have any any record of any threats to the financial institution itself, or any other financial institution in our jurisdiction. So. Uh, what the link is between this credit union and these other businesses who are uh, involved in this, we don't know. But it's probably something the FBI would uh, de de definitely be interested in, and, and that's probably something they're looking into right now. So we'll wait and see uh, how the investigation unfolds. Do you know if this is the only um, financial institution or business in Montana that this has happened to? As far as I'm aware, this is the only business in Montana. And I'm only aware of, of uh, the other uh, businesses that have been hacked simply because I've been online uh, looking at news items and, and items that have been uh, in the media. So uh, I have certainly don't have a list of any other businesses, official list, other than what I've seen on the internet. So no reports here in view of other hacked or institute or websites that have been hacked? No, we don't that have any other uh, reports of any websites who are involved. Do you know when the website was taken down? Because you said the, you got the call, uh, or they um, realized it around 10 a.m. Saturday? That's when we first got the call. Uh, so I don't know when the, the uh, actual website was taken down. I think the folks at Southwest Montana Federal Credit Union could probably answer that better. Okay. Yeah, they're Anaconda. They were helpful for that. Good call. He talked to me, so I'm sure he could tell you. I think he said they, well, they took it down that day, and they got it back up yesterday evening. Yeah, it's it's... Up and running they now, it so it doesn't them. seem like it really affected business much. That's it's up and running, and, and it looks like, from what I can tell, the other websites around the country that are affected are also up and running, and it doesn't seem really affected their business. It doesn't seem to be like it was anything that like got into anybody's accounts or anything. Or from what I can tell, reading online, and that's obviously not an official sure. source, but it 
doesn't appear that the businesses that are affected are, are, are damaged in any way other than the fact that the flag was on their face page or their website. It's more like a superficial, like the guys are like spraying graffiti. <laughs> yeah. So, so far.